Hi, if you have just received your O-level results and you're waiting to go to JC or you're keen to go to JC, then this video is designed exactly for you. Okay, so what am I going to be talking about this video is this new university admission scoring system that starts from your cohort. So and we actually made changes to the university admission score and the 2024 JC1 batch is the first cohort that will be affected by this change. So this is something that you need to know. Now previously, the university admission score is based on 90 points. Starting from this year onwards, the JC1 starting this year, your university admission score will be based on 70 points. Now what will make up these 70 points? So you are going to take three H2 core subjects. So these three H2 core subjects, each H2 subject will be worth 20 points. And then you have to take H1 general paper. So general paper is compulsory, you don't have a choice. General paper is at the H1 level and there is only at the H1 level, it is worth 10 points. So these three subjects times 20 points plus the 10 points is equals to the 70 points. Now other than these four subjects, what else do you have to take? You have to take one additional H1 content subject that is worth 10 points and you have to take H1 mother tongue which is also worth 10 points. Now this additional 20 points is a little bit complicated. They will not be included in your university admission score by default but if these 20 points or rather these two subjects if you did very well in them and they are actually able to help you improve your score then they will be included. So this additional 20 points right will be calculated in your overall score and rebased to 70 only if it improves your score. Okay, and then additional to that, you have to still take project work. Project work is now a pass-fail subject. So you still have to pass, but the score is no longer included in your, in your university admission score. So these are things that you need to know about the new university admission scoring system. Okay, one last thing. So if you took higher mother tongue at O levels and you passed it, then you get exempted for H1 mother tongue. We have done a few other videos that are suitable for students who will be going to JC. This is just part one in the series. You can check out our social media profile for more of such videos.